We are with Swin Cash, or as some people may start calling her, Skin Cash. <laughs> you, you're in the ESPN body issue? Yes, I am. For a second consecutive year? Yes. Now, these are new photos? And N-E-W, not N-U-D-E. These aren't from last year, right? Uh, no. These are last year at the body part, which was just my back, and this year it'll be a full spread. Okay. Now, will it look something like this? <laughs> probably, Maybe. Pro probably not. I was going to say, this is very strange because a couple games ago you were almost covered from head to toe with some sort of covering uh, on your legs. Uh -huh. Are there like two parts of sw Swin Cash? No, it's just the basketball part and then I also, you know, I guess the modeling part of me, so. Okay. Now, word is your mother encouraged you to do this? Like she encouraged me. She just basically, uh, she was the first person I asked, and she told me, you know, go for it. Uh, and you know, when mom says go for it, it gives you a little bit more of a confidence boost, so went for it. Okay. What's that experience like being in, you know, you've modeled, mm -hmm. but not quite like that. What's that? Um, it's, it's very different. Um, I'm a very shy, conservative person when it comes to as far as my exposure, body in certain ways. Um, but for me, this is one of those things I can X off my bucket list um, because I kind of got over a fear and I just really was just enjoying the moment. I'll assume it, it's similar to shooting for Playboy where they do everything to make you comfortable so that when, when they shoot you and you're smiling, it's not a grimace. <laughs> This, this was a little bit different than, than Playboy right. because I thought that, uh, you know, a lot of credit to ESPN, um, the magazine, they did an excellent job of just really making me feel comfortable, uh, what I wanted to do, getting my input on everything, so I just really enjoyed it. Favorite body part do you have? Favorite body part, I would have to say, um, I don't know, maybe my arms or my legs, yeah. Speaking of exposure of another sort, you're among the leading vote getters for the All Star Game. If I did, if I could read the numbers right. <laughs> and do you know who? They didn't have a game last year. Do you know who the MVP was in the 11 game? Um, the MVP from last year. We didn't have a game no. last year, but in 2011. I what, what was her? It was. What was her name? She, didn't she play for Seattle? She played for Seattle, but I think she plays for this guy now. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> And you're one of only two players to be the MVP in the All-Star Game twice, the other one being Lisa Leslie. Pretty rare company. Great company, yeah. yeah. Great company there with Lisa. What's it about the All-Star Game? Um, you know what? The All-Star Game is so much fun. You're there to have a good time. You're with the best players in the world, uh, the fans, the atmosphere, and uh, I just really love it. It's, it's always a great time, so hopefully I'll be there again this year. Um, if not, yeah. Who knows? Maybe next year. I was going to say, it, it's up in uh, Connecticut. Yeah, I always love going back home to Connecticut. I call it my second home because, okay. uh, you know, I kind of grew up there. They're not going to play the All-Star game in McKeesport? No, no, we're not going to have McKeesport. Hopefully we'll get a team in Pittsburgh someday. Thank you. Thank you.